Madagascar is amazing for its biodiversity and its endemic characteristic. It's geologically one of the oldest islands. It detached from India around 80 million years ago and has been on its own in the Indian Ocean since then. So we all have in mind the lemurs, the amphibians, reptiles and birds that inhabit this fascinating island. But this richness and uniqueness expresses also itself underwater. There are indeed about 120 endemic freshwater fish species in Madagascar and more are being discovered each year as 75% of the island's freshwater habitats are yet to be explored. ZSL is working in the northeast region of Madagascar as part of the freshwater fish conservation program called Fishnet, which focuses on critically endangered species. This project takes place in a very remote location along the Amboabua River and it took us four days by car to arrive. There are four endemic fish species in this river, two of which are only found here, most notably the Mangarahara cichlid called the Joba Mena by the local population. For this expedition, I'll be joined by Guy, our partner and local conservationist, who has dedicated 25 years of his life to the endemic freshwater fish species, and Aina, a researcher from the Animal Biology Department of the University of Antananarivo. We are going to walk the length of the Mboabua River and our mission is to gather as much data as possible. With the help of local fishermen, we will stop on a regular basis and set up sample sites, which will help us to assess the area of occupancy of each fish species and identify the threats they are under. We are hoping to have a better understanding of the situation and come up with solutions to secure the future of the species. So this is already day three of the expedition and we've already seen lots of uh, different sections of the river from the very fast flowing water located in the national park, very clear and oxygenated water. And now we are like very downstream uh, after the village called Marotondrano where the water isn't flowing that much uh, because a major part of, of the water is being used by the local community for, the, for rice farming. <laughs> We are now on day six on the river. It has been an extremely fascinating and hot journey so far. We've been engaging with local communities. We talk to fishermen, villages and local authorities about their knowledge and experience of the river and how they use it on a daily basis. I've just been talking to some local fishermen and asking some questions about uh, the river, whether there used to be more flow in the past or whether there used to be more fish as well. And um, they've said that the flow has reduced significantly over the last few years and there's definitely less fish in the river. So this is the end of our amazing journey and I'm standing right now in the place where the Humboa Boa meets the Mangarahara River. And as you can see all around, there isn't that much water flowing in both rivers. The four endemic fish species that we were looking for are still present in the river, which is the great news. Unfortunately, however, the area of occupancy is much more restricted than we thought. Sadly, the habitat is the perfect example of what freshwater ecosystems are facing across the world. Things like the construction of dams, the destructive fishing techniques, and the introduction of alien species are having a huge impact. We are nevertheless very positive as the information gathered and the discussion we had with the local authorities brought to light some potential solutions to investigate. So this is about ZSL working to save critically endangered fish species. But it's also about collaborating with local communities to set up long-term plans that will benefit the livelihood and environment as well as securing the future of their fish species. <laughs>